Sometimes, as I'm walking through the woods, I just look at the trees and then the way that they stand so still. There's lots of hills out here, things to step on. As I pick up the sticks, I'm reminded of the life that the trees had, the sticks, before they fell down. Did they just hang there? Did they like to blow in the breeze? How old are the sticks? I've got a feeling that the bigger ones are older. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Some of the sticks are way too big for even one man to pick up. Just take what you can. In this way, one stick becomes many sticks. Picking up the sticks can wear you out. That's why sometimes I'll rest. I always like to bring a snack to eat when I'm out here. I love the unspoiled beauty of the forest. this stick. The rubbish. Obviously an area of bad sticks. I like to come to the forest to meditate. But it's hard to find a good spot. I tried logs first. And then the leaves. It was better. Softer. But still not right. A deer. It's just too beautiful. I don't want to close my eyes when I'm over here. This is my neighbor's, it's a rock. Yeah, but it's not my rock, it's my neighbor's. Doesn't make it feel right. What does I need is a chamber, a special chamber to relax and meditate in. I'll start with a simple shelter made by trees already, and I'll reinforce the walls with my own construction of twigs. Selecting your stick's the most important part. You have to find a stick that's just right for the spot that you want to put it. And you have to find the right spot for the spot stick that you pick. You just gotta weave it in, weave it through. It's really just a lot of guessing. I find that if you pick just the right stick for each spot, 
the thing will stand up pretty good. The camera moved. I didn't know the camera moved. Tighten it up. Sometimes you pick up a stick that's too big for your particular area you're working on, and you have to make a decision to break it smaller or to save it for where you might need a bigger stick later. I'm going to save this one. This is a good one for here, too. It's got some branches and pieces that stick out and connect on. The Y-shaped pieces are very, very good. You want the Y-shaped pieces because they've got little Ys on the end of them that you can use to connect. Jam that Y on each side, just like that. Come over here to this end. This end looks, oh, it broke. That one broke. It's okay. You just find another spot. It's, now you got a shorter stick. You need sticks of all length. It takes all lengths, sticks and diameters, all sizes left out, except for the really little puny ones. They, they have no place. This one here is very flexible. It's very good. I like this. I wish I had more like this one. This one I can just bring right through, just like that, just like that. Just, oh, come on. Just, oh, there we go. Come on, you little bugger. Yeah, just like that, exactly what I wanted. Oh, wow. If I could just have 2,000 more sticks just like that one. Oh, you're a bendy. You got some bend to you there, fella. Look at that. Look at that. It's amazing. It's amazing. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, you're in. Right now, I need more big sticks on the inside, so I'm paying attention to that, where I need the sticks to be. I want them to be in the right place for when I need to use them. It makes more sense that way. This is the end. This is where I need big sticks, right here. Right here. We can't see there being very many sticks. It's, there's not very many sticks here, that's why. Get these sticks put right in there. Take some more of these big ones in. Go in. This one we're gonna weave right through. Even though it's big, the big sticks have big spaces, so it works out. Let's go as far as you can go, every time. When you have the Y-shaped pieces, it can just hold up the sticks like a fork. As you start to weave more layers in, you can start adding more vertical sticks between them, make everything stronger. That's the stick I want right here. Oh, bloody stick. Come on, come on. Right in, right in, just like that. Just like that. First few sticks you put in, they don't touch much, but then as you put more sticks in, it gets thicker. I'm back from my stick run. I've got some good sticks. Good sticks. Every stick has a story. All sticks came from different trees. Well, some sticks I'm sure came from the same tree. But there's a lot of trees and there's a lot of sticks, so I'm sure that there's been some overlap of different trees and sticks. Just bring it right up and through, just like that. 
just like that. And we'll tip it over. We'll get this in to go in right here. Watch. Just like that. Come on. Oh, okay, it didn't break though. It just slid. It's good. There we go. That's it. That's it. Sometimes they've got extra little arms. They'll go out and grab, they'll grab what you're trying to put it around. And fill in the gaps, fill in the holes. Find the stick that fits. Find the stick that fits. It's I say to myself all day long, over and over, find the stick that fits where you want a stick to go. You gotta do more than just say it though. You gotta go out and get sticks and put them in the holes, but as long as you just turn yourself in your head, I want the best stick for the job, you'll find it. Let's bring it right through. Good, even pressure, holding everything together. Yeah. Solid. For the fact that it sticks. If it was like two by four, yeah, it's not solid, but for sticks, it's solid. This one here, so I should bring it in or something. It's just not working for me the way it is. Oh God, look at this flexible one. Oh my God, I love it. There we go. Bring that in a little bit, just knock those off. That's all, that's all, yeah, that's good. There's a lot of rearranging sticks. The sticks that were there and the newcomers. Sometimes they've got a better idea of how things should go together. You just have to listen to the sticks. The sticks tell you what to do. Quit listening to what your brain tells you. It's all about the sticks. There's gotta be more places for sticks. That's not the right spot, and it's, it's pretty obvious. It stands out when it's not the right spot. It says, hey, I don't fit here. This is, this is not where I'm going. I think the sticks have a pretty good idea of where they wanna go and where they don't wanna go. Sometimes they can be a little indecisive, and that's why you just gotta help them along. So, hey, look at this, guys. You fit perfect. This stick over here, he's kinda wanting to come loose a little bit. I'm, I don't know about him. Um, may have done a little damage there, it's okay. Yeah, son of a bitch. I don't even like this stick anymore. Or that one, it looks too much like the other one. Some people say, it's just a rotten stick. It's no good for anything. And I'd say, I'm not building the Taj Mahal here. It's a meditation chamber. It's relaxing. Just right in. Perfect stick. I'm losing some bark. It's okay. It's just part of the process. Very peaceful it is, tranquil. The sticks each have their own story. They just make it talk so you don't know what it is at all. You can guess by looking, but that's about it. I don't have any real facts on it, but I'm sure that our forefathers and ancestors probably built houses and structures with sticks. I just want to honor them by doing the same thing. Except for to meditate in, not live, that'd just be insane. Pretty nice this time of year, there's no bugs. No spiders and worm and all that gross stuff. I don't, I don't much care for it. So I doubt I'll even come here when it's summer. Just kidding. I kind of like it just open like that. Open at the top like windows. The act of building the stick structure is 
a bit like meditation itself. It's very healing. Let's have a look inside, shall we? Watch, the sticks. Here we are, in the chamber. This is it. Here's the wall we were just working on. Here's the vines that grow up through. Someone said it could be poison ivy, and I sure hope not. I should know more like that, but I don't. It's beautiful vines, just beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at them. Just beautiful. It's great. I meditate out here all day long. I could keep going, but I'm gonna stop because it'd be boring for the video. But it's, it feels good in here. This light comes in, but I don't feel totally exposed from the wind. It's muffled just a little bit, baffled. Baffled by the sticks. It's a good place, it feels good. just help but meditate here. That's how good it feels. It's very nice. Raking is our way of saying, okay trees, you've dropped your leaves. But I think that they'd look better over there. Sometimes when you break and you clear away the leaves, you find things in the ground, in the forest, you didn't know were there. Get there. What I believe with raking is it actually is possible to produce art on land. In this project, for instance, I literally wrote the word art on land with my rake. scientific proof positive it's possible to produce art on land